Attitude is the key concept in the humor principle. Leading with humility demonstrates to your associates you truly love them and consider yourself one of them. On the other hand, leaders who exhibit hubris convey the notion that they consider themselves superiors and thus are not likely to win their associates' loyalty and trust. Leaders who take themselves too seriously will be viewed as stern and unsympathetic, and as a result, the associates will be unhappy and stressed. Show you care about their health and happiness by lightening up and easing their stress with humor. If you truly love your associates, leading with humility and humor is the only option. The impact humor and lightness has on the leaders themselves is equally important. Leaders need to release stress or they will not be able to make rational decisions, be receptive to their associates or achieve their goals. Your health and well-being are just as important as your associates in your mutual efforts to succeed. Humor in the workplace can be as simple as keeping a smile on your face or cheering up an employee with a kind act and a supportive words. David Granerer, who provides seminars on laughter in the workplace, defines appropriate humor as acts involving some sort of surprise and or exaggeration that makes people feel good. Certainly this can take some form of joke telling, but it can also take many others. Leaving a cookie on a caseworker's desk, giving an unexpected compliment, and sending an encouraging email are all acts that involve some form of surprise and leave people feeling good. The second personal reason for adding humor requires leaders to make a conscious effort to develop a culture of fun in the workplace. There are countless ways to lighten the mood or cause a laugh, and you don't have to be a funny person to incorporate ele this element in your leadership role. Don't try to be a comedian if it's not your style. Furthermore, the humor should not cross the line of what is appropriate in a professional environment. Your office is not a comedy club. It's a place where your associates should feel that it's fun to work. In many respects, using humor is simply behaving in a way that is humane. Be supportive, nurturing, and caring. 